Venus by Television. Uh, this is a great song. It's uh, from the 70s, um, 78, 77, maybe something like that. Um, once again, <laughs> it's one that I played on the uh, acoustic guitar a lot, and um, I found an arrangement, or I made an arrangement that um, works really well for the, the tenor guitar, so I thought I'd show you that one. Um, so for this song, I'm going middle pickup here. I've got a bit of a distortion. <laughs> A little distortion on my app here um, but you can choose whatever sound that you like you know I guess when I'm playing it alone I kind of prefer this pick up but when I'm playing with the song it kind of sounds more like a bit more like that you know um, a really quick note about this song is that it has like I don't know four or five different parts and they all kind of bleed into each other um, Seems to be the kind of like writing, guitar writing that I like a lot. It's uh, different parts bleed into each other and then you hear the same part or some sort of version of it in different parts of the song and it changes a little bit every time. Um, this one does have a guitar solo, which is really cool. It's the first time doing a guitar solo on, on a tenor. And uh, I guess as far as the guitar solos go, this one goes, this one's pretty easy. Um, but we'll have a look at that later. So let's look at first, the, first of all, we'll look at the main parts and then we'll look at maybe some of the form as well later. So the first part is like this. So to do that you're playing a uh, second string. Oh by the way this is tuned to GDAE, just uh, my standard tuning or octave mandolin tuning. So you're playing seventh fret on the second string up to the eighth fret then back to the seven and then five seven five and you slide down to the two and then you hit that three up top on the first string so the whole first part is on the first on the second string except for the end that's on the second string there we go That's a little thing that I like to add sometimes. I find it kind of finishes the phrase really nicely. That's just um, second fret on the second string, pull off to the open, and then third string, fifth fret. And then you can slide up. I guess you could do that too. Um, whenever possible, you want to kind of give your notes a little shimmy. You know, don't don't make it too boring. Yeah, maybe like that. I should really practice that. Um, and most of it's down, down. I just down pick a lot of it. to the second part here. And then you're into the third part. Uh, so for this one, uh, what was it? And then you're playing with your third finger here on the 15th, 15th fret on the third string. So that's just a power chord. And I do a sweet pick. But you can also individually hit each note. So it's 15, 13, 15, 15. And then here, this is 12, uh, sorry, 14, 15, 17, 14. And then here, you're going down to 12, and you're doing another power chord. Uh, right, no, sorry, you're, you're doing this thing. Uh, so this is 12th fret on the 3rd string, 13th fret on the 1st string, then 14th fret on the 2nd string, then it's a power chord on C major, um, so you're doing 8, 8, uh, 
uh, sorry, 10 on the third string, 8 on the first string, 10 on the second string, and 8 again on the first string. So we'll do that again. Sorry. Seven, yeah, seven, eight, seven. Uh, for here, you're that second little part of that that part. You're doing ten, eight, ten, ten, eight, ten, eight, ten, eight, ten, eight, and you're sliding that up again to twelve. that C major. Then here, here you do, so you're doing 12 to 10 on the second string, reaching up to the 14, then 12, uh, sorry, 10 again, and then you're all the way up to the C here, and you're back to that second part of that C section. And then there's the fourth section here. So on the recording, they do this. And I find it's kind of hard to make it sound really nice. So I do that. Or I'll do a double string. That second string open. So here you're sliding up to seven on the second string, then you're going five, seven, eight, eight, seven, five in one really quick pull off. Here you're, pull, you're sliding up to 12 on the second string and you're repeating that same form, that same shape. Pretty much the exact same thing. twice and then it comes to these little single lines here um, and this is all down stroke it's like kind of the really cool part of the song so you're doing um, sort of just a straight like diatonic line at the start and then after that you're kind of getting into more pentatonics but you're doing third fret on the first string, first fret on the first string, first string open, fifth string, uh, sorry, fifth fret on the second string, third fret on the second string, second fret on the second string, open, and then down to the G here on the third string, fifth fret. Sorry, I have to fix myself. <laughs> so yeah. And then uh, you have sort of like the the, the pentatonic part. It's not really pentatonic. It's, it's got an extra note in there, but you're doing third fret on the first string, down to the open string, and then fifth fret on the second string, second fret on the second string. Second string open, then the G here on the third string, fifth fret, then up to the C here, it's not the B. That's that extra note there. Then back to the A part. Hmm? 
so those parts repeat at different places. They kind of weave in and out of each other in the song. Um, I'll let you listen to the song and find how that comes together. Um, so the next part that we have is the solo, and then we have the quick little outro after as well. So the solo kind of melds into this. And then you start the solo. Uh, and on the recording, they have like a, a volume swell, which of course you can do with uh, your own volume here if you have if you're kind of set up for that um these potentiometers are a little a little too uh too much resistance on them if you had like a thinner one sorry a smaller one that was like less resistant that would work well and you can also rearrange your controls so you'd have this upside down and then volume tone and then your switch here and that, that really works quite well um but i haven't really played around with that yet with uh, my tenors um so for now i'd say just get a volume pedal or you can do, you just kind of do something like that, and that works pretty well. So this is the guitar solo. So you're doing 8th fret on the first string, 10th fret on the first string, 12th fret on the first string, up to 15. solo we're doing 8, 10, 12, 15, 12, 15, then it goes to that chord change. Uh, so you're doing 12, 10, 7, not 8, then back to 10, 12, 10, then here you're doing a pre-bend, then release pre-bend up to 13 and bend it, release it down to 12. that 10 7 5 3 1 0 3 0 then 3 0 3 7 3 and then you're on a different chord so it's second string and seventh fret on the third string then same thing and you just take that shape and bring it up too far so I know that solo was like kind of chaotic there let's do it again um, I'll slow it down a little bit solo and then you back to the C part. Um, 
And then he goes through all of those things uh, a couple of times to bring it back to the end. The end of the song is a little different here. It's branches off of this thing. You do this twice, and the third time it changes. So this time, right here. So you're doing 15, 13, 15, 15, 12, 15, 17, 12, 12, 13, 14, 12. And here you start to go up just a major scale, but you skip the second. So you're doing 10, 14, 15, 10, 12, 13, then here I like to switch up to 15 with my first finger, 15, 17, 19, 20, then down to 15. That's how to play uh, Venus by television.